ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Iron Earth. Today we are doing Age of Empires 2. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to Eastern Roman history, also my brother, Dan. Hey, Dan. Hello, everyone. There you go. And welcome Lord. to Eastern Roman history. I am your co-host, Daniel. Well, do you want to introduce the scenario we're going to be playing then? So, um, uh, today, uh, Alec and I will be playing well, Age of Empires 2, and I've created three scenarios based on a uh, period of history set in the 14th century. So this is the late Middle Ages. The bit of history that we'll actually be focusing on will be Byzantine history. Um, and if Alec, you could be the Byzantines, that will be immensely helpful. Uh, so Amazing. these three missions will be following the reign of <laughs> Your fourth son. the nice. Emperor Andronicus III. He was a Byzantine Emperor who reigned from 1388 to 1341, and we will be following him along. So I will be playing as Andronicus, and Alec will be playing as his best that's, friend that's me, and uh, chief <laughs> confidant and advisor, a guy called John Kantakuzanos, who incidentally is one of the main uh, sources of information about this period. So you're playing an important person, Alec. Thank goodness. Yes. I hope that was clear. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty clear my ends. Sounds good. You didn't cut out once either, so I think we're good to go. Huzzah! I think I've solved it. Hopefully. Take Hopefully. All right, so do I actually need to select anything here, or is it just going to... Yes, you, you need to be the Byzantines, otherwise, who knows, you could be... The Byzantines. The do we need to be in the same faction? No, no. You are fine. Uh, no, go back to player two. There we are. Okay. All right, I'm ready. Do I need to click anything else? Uh, no, just to... Oh, I'm ready. Play the snitch. I don't know. We'll find out. My knowledge of all of this era of history is quite limited. Let's let's put it that way. Yes. Well, that's why I'm here, to guide you all through this dark time. I see you watching Good To Go. Is it a dark times? I thought the, uh, this period of time is actually quite bright and melon. Melon? Mellow. <laughs> melon. <laughs> Brighton Melon. We're good to go, bro. So you hit ready when you're ready. All right. You can get homework, yeah, we'll... apparently. Let's Ooh. begin. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I haven't played Age of Empires 2 for a while. In fact, I think the last time I did was with you, bro. Yes. You, Don't you... worry. This is nice and gentle. We... We must repulse the Bulgarians attacking from the north. A decisive strike against their barracks should get them to withdraw. That one. Oh, right, you're actually literally reading what's written in the corner there. Okay. Yeah. So, um... So what we have here is we have... Alec and myself, who are the protagonists of this story. Damn straight. Who are these Volga so, people attacking our, uh, what is that? They are Volga Bulgarians. Attack an enemy now. Alright, Alex, sure. I'm gonna send my cataphracts to take out that Ornager. Oh, I was gonna do that. <laughs> you said I'm the protagonist, so let, let me destroy all the cool things. Will there be plot armor? <laughs> no, exactly. uh, because, well... Oh, shit. Yes and no. There won't be any plot armor, but Bro, if we massacred. die, we also lose the mission. Bro, we're getting so... massacred. Uh, no, I think we're winning, but with some losses. John Cantacuz, yeah. Constant time maker. Uh, John Cantacuz, yes, he does. He does. In fact, we'll find out a bit more about him later on. Good. 
So, uh, I have some information for us all. So, the guy, the Bulgarians are in the north. Uh, the Ottoman Turks are in the east. And we have a lot of stuff. We also have a trebuchet in uh, your base, Alec. Okay. Wait, I have a base? Oh, I have yeah, a base. Over here. <laughs> Probably should do something about that. Exploit him heavily. I mean, what? <laughs> so all we need to do at the moment is uh, get ourselves sorted out and take out that barracks. Let's see. Alec, you also have a small fleet over here. Over here, okay. Oh yeah. Whoa. We should have some nice oh, ships. this music's so nostalgic. I do love the uh, soundtrack. Seems great. By the way, guys, don't forget to check out Dan's YouTube channel. If you type exclamation mark Eastern Roman history, it'll come up with the link. All right, carry on, bro. Yeah. So, Alec, we both have a trade ship each. So okay. we can start trading with each other straight away. Uh, which is the trade? Ah, oh, trade cog. Okay, we're good. I think you can... If I remember correctly, you can guard, can't you? There we go. Yes. Alright, so I'm going to send my trebuchet to start bombarding that tower next to that barracks. Not playing as the Huns. Hey, Yame, how's it going? Eastern uh, Roman history. I have more. I'm not playing as the Huns. Cringe. <laughs> the trouble with the Huns is they don't have any. Is they are uh, kind of cheat in a way because they don't have they don't have they the kind of cheat. Houses. Good lord. Yeah. It's like yeah, we don't need houses. So I'm dying. That doesn't sound good. Arms get maxed Okay, out. so Ooh. what are we what are we actually doing right now? We're just building up resources. We're just trying that Yeah. All right. What year is this taking place? Uh, this is thirteen, uh, twenty-eight. A while ago then. Uh, so for context, this is the um a year after England's King Edward the Third becomes king. If that helps for anyone. <laughs> but it might help someone. I will just nod. Yep. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Smile and nod. Hey, it's it's an age-old maneuver. Yeah. If people think you know things, then you're probably gonna get away with it. Uh, I didn't. The Aiden is. We don't have to worry about them at the moment. But they're saying help, the enemy is in my town. Yeah, they're just being attacked by the Ottomans, it's all that as well. Let me just leave them to it then. Yeah. Basic. Such a John um, Constantine move. Their... I'm attacking their barracks at the moment. You heard England and third, not the middle part. Edward the third, I believe is what he said. Edward the third, yes. The guy who started the Hundred Years' War. Yeah, da Daniel is something of a idiot savant in regards to history. <laughs> An idiot Thank you very much. <laughs> it's a compliment, I promise. Olivia, hey! The Ottomans are attacking Nicaea, the capital of the Empire's territories in Anatolia. You must gather your forces and try and relieve the city. Bring John and Andronikos to Nicomedia. Okay. Where did I leave? Where did I leave John anyway? He's uh, over here. A life and well is good. Where? Oh. I'm glad someone's keeping track. I lost my entire army. Rejoice. Yeah. Fortunately, we have plenty of time to rebuild our forces. So. I notice how most of yours survived. You keep well, you say most. I have 
five guys left, including my hero. Where's, where's my transport ship? Sold you out. You can't be trusted. <laughs> did <laughs> I sell them out? Or did I really? Probably. They're not a fact question. <laughs> Is that a spoiler? <laughs> what? Don't give away spoilers, bro. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Andronicus. Andronicus and John are the best of friends. They, they are the... Byzantine double team. Sounds very sarcastic. That but sounded yeah. worse than it was. Hang on. <laughs> yes. Get these sheep together. I know this is a scripted scenario, right. but am I going to break it if I start upgrading my troops? No. Very good. Because it's already, yeah. ha it's already, it's already happening. <laughs> <laughs> now I have crossbows. Oh. No, I don't want to spin. So what you want to do, Alec, is you want to get on some troops into your transport and then move them over to uh I I am way ahead of you bro. Yeah. Wait, there's no room for my dude on the ship. Oh there is, okay. There we go. Oh, where did you go? I'm ready. Do you even have troops? Well, you know. The Ottomans are gonna be a pushover. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's fine, Olivia. Um, we're only a five-person guild like at the it. moment, so it's really not going to matter too much, this first one. Anyway, carry on, bro. Uh, I've moved my troops over. Oh my god! <laughs> the Ottomans are attacking Nicaea! Bring your armies here. Right. Let's I save those Nicaeans. <laughs> my screen just had a seizure. <laughs> It did explode. What is this? Hey, Katsu, this is Age of Empires 2. And we are, yes. ex my brother and I are exploring. The, uh, Alec, the... you've got some new dudes. I have some nudes. What? New dudes. Oh, new dudes. Okay. That was an unfortunate I lag. I didn't inquire into your private <laughs> I might not like what I find. <laughs> <laughs> Alec nudes would have been preferable. Well, Alec, <laughs> you, ha you have an admirer. I will start <laughs> a fans only account post haste. Yeah. Alec for you. Wink. How did he know? Right, let's head to. Do we have enough men? We'll soon find out. Hey, it's a psychic of motions. How's it going? Oh my god, it's the Ottomans! <laughs> oh my Kill them all! God, it's the Ottomans. Interesting. Send in Andronicus the is hit! Flee! Flee for your lives! What? Was <laughs> John and Jonicus and John to the entrance of Constantinople. Uh, Alright. I'm sure we could have so, taken them. So, what happened there, if we look at the historical account, is that um, at the Battle of Pelicanon, the Romans were actually winning against the Turks, but during the battle, Andronicus is wounded. Um, and he's taken from the battlefield. He's removed from the battlefield. But as he does, uh, his troops think he's been either killed or seriously injured and break, which means the Turks win the battle. And See. that's what Troy to recreate there. Nice. I realize I bought a uh, villager or two with me. So they're going to be probably essential. It's that we didn't engage quite as wholeheartedly then. <laughs> 
We're, sen we're sending the kitchen sink against them. I had a trebuchet set up. I'm disappointed I didn't get to use it. Where's Where did you go? I've gone back to my transport. Oh. Oh, yes. My transport. Yeah, we want to get our armies out of here. I will try and do this. We should lobby for the... Uh, Dan, can you actually give people scenarios? Um... I think, can you share this yes. scenario for people to play? You don't yes. have to do it right um, now, so but... Not right now, but I can certainly look into how to do it. Um, there you go. I, there is a database of Age of Empires scenarios online, which you can upload it to. Um, this is primarily a two-player scenario, as are the rest of the missions, because I had Alec in mind when making this. Um, but, yeah. but um, yeah, the, um, I've also built in a single-player mode. Did um, you? Each of them so it's well, like you were so... prepared for this potential outcome. Yes. I was thorough. Oh, I like to think I was thorough. <laughs> we will find out. We'll soon find out. I have playtested this, so thing go wrong. I hope they don't. Andronicus has negotiated peace with the Ottomans and handed Nicaea over to them. The Battle of Pelacanon has lost us Asia. Lol. We lost this place. Which part of Asia? Asia's quite large, bro. Yup. Okay. <laughs> Which yep. part of Asia? <laughs> yep. <laughs> what part of Asia? That one. I wonder what we'll do next. Lockdown has bared Age of Empires fruit. It's true. But you're in person with Alexa. I know, right? Oh my god. My Though the Ottomans have tested us, let us capture the easier targets of Chaos and Thokaya. Uh, held by the Genoese, destroying the island's castle and market by the shore should get them to submit. Oh, we now know what we're doing next. Take this, you yellow bastards. Oh. <laughs> For reference, that yellow? means cowardly, rather than being a racist slur. <laughs> I was not referring to... Robin! How's it going, bro? Yellow. Hello. Uh, wait, so I'm stuck on this shoreline. Do I need to now transport myself down below? Uh, so you need, you're going to need some ships, because um, the Genoese have a lot of ships. Okay. Fortunately, you have a dock over here. Ta-ta! <laughs> I'm going to wait until that castle's gone. Alright, I'm sending in my best transport. One boat, navy, no more. <laughs> well, that's all you gave yeah. me, so yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, I think he sounds preferable to Alexa, personally, but... You know, to each their own. Hello, Alexa. Could you tell me what the day is today? <laughs> Wait, where? I do terrible impressions anyway. So you do. Wait, they're attacking oh, yeah. me! Son of a bitch! They are Italians. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what I mean by that. Anyway. Alex um, you wants to click that skull to the left. No, I do not! Definitely more energetic. <laughs> Italians. I am Italian. But yeah, I know. Uh, what? Huh? We're, we are Roman. We oh. are Roman. Uh, yes, we are Romans. On boat navy feels. Oh I'm mate. Sorry about that. Which I may get into if people really insist. Okay, All right, so I like mean to panic you, but I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be right now. Right. So here. we need to we need to take out 
the castle over here. And we need to take out the market here. Enemy now. Okay. Why are we attacking so this stop. specific market? Uh, just to teach the... So the, the Genoese are merchants, right? A merchant republic. Romans of Caesar. And what's going to hit a merchant republic the most? Destroying Destroy its one economy. market. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you should never put all your eggs in one basket. Or one market in this instance. Yes. Yes, quite. Oh, I have a castle. Right. That's so, pretty useful. Yes. You can get some cataphracts from there. You are cool, heavily armoured people. Right, so... If we, um, so I've dealt with the Genoese who are over here. So I'm going to start sending my fleet down. If you start sending your fleet down there as well. My fleet? Where's my, here's my fleet. We can give them a good old time. So, Alec, you can create um, something helpful you can do is you can create command groups. Uh, so, say you select a whole bunch of swordsmen. If you uh, click no! and then one, what, what? My transport is dead. No! John wasn't on it, was he? No. Should he have been? <laughs> I left him on the beach, so he's fine. Oh, okay. good. If John dies... Do we have to restart? Yes. Oh dear. He doesn't have plot armor, except for when we know he's alive. Well, we can, we can use this island as a launching ground for our assault. I have ships. Your fleet was slightly bigger than mine. Oh. I've got more ships on the way, though. Same <laughs> private job. Oh, I'm gonna need a bigger fleet. <laughs> so, Alec, what I've done is I've built some siege rams to uh, knock down that castle. What we can do is, you know, you'll see your uh, trebuchets. I think one of them was on the boat. Oh. <laughs> So is this the beginning of the Byzantinian Empire, or I don't really, Pardon? I don't really understand whereabouts. So uh, where we are at the moment is the. Uh, a, does everyone know where the Aegean Sea is? Or Greece? I have no idea. I know Greece. Yeah. Greece. So uh, the Byzantines at this point called the area um, to the northeast of Greece at the moment, uh, including Istanbul, which Constantinople at this point. Um, Shu, uh, we are kind of in that hinterland. Okay. Between... Oh shit, I bought my trade cog, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> to the rescue! Run, little trade cog! Try and bring your fleet closer to your castle. They can shoot them. It survived with 4 HP. Everything is fine. I've got more ships on the way. <laughs> I, I need a transport. So I've got a transport ship full of siege rams, which is on its way. Okay. Did we be- Uh, Herder got one boat with my Roman camel riders. Daniel, I've almost finished building a Magatron. These foolish Ottoman ain't gonna know what hit them. Alright. Yes! <laughs> oh shit, I'm building way too many transport ships. Haha, oh, take this, you blast Bro, fire I have ship. no gold. How am I supposed to do anything with no gold? You should There's a gold mine over here. 
You need your villagers to do stuff. Having to do more than I expected. <laughs> well, I never said it was going to be easy. Yes. Set up your only fans. <laughs> <laughs> I will do a special dance for you for hey, one Hey, Mindsty Wolf, how are you? Wait, where's the... Ah, here's my sheep. We got food. It's all good. Alright, so Alec, I'm sending in my transport of siege rams. Go, Basics go, of the game. go! I, ha I can play this game, I'm just not that great at it. No gold time set up with only fans. Yeah, I know, right? Go, ah. Sea Tram! Go! Oh, I lost my transport. Wait, stop happening it. and I'm not there. Wait, I'm the attacking blues with us or against us? Who? The, the blues? Yeah, they're the... our allies. The ones you said not to give a shit about earlier? Yes. Okay, just, just make sure a... I got that right. They're fighting the Ottomans at the moment. There's a dock right here. How did I not see that? No comment. Wait, why's my trade cog here again? <laughs> I think it's still trying to trade with the Genoese. <laughs> trade cog has a death wish. Hey, I know we're at war, but could you see? Could you see to your? Could you see yourself giving me some money? Sounds somewhat apt. Just yeah. destroying the docks down here. Nice moves. Always. This channel was founded on nice moves. Yeah. The transport ship with right. no one on it. Why? Why? Where are the history facts? Do you want history facts? I mean, honestly, ask him anything and he'll give you an answer, especially oh, if it's in really regards good. to this period of history. I'll give you more than you want. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Send a friend code, nice! I'll invite you to the guild shortly. I sent you a friend code. Well done! Sick. Hi. Yes. Well done! History, A star. Reading, C. Okay. Right, I've got an army, let's destroy this. Uh... Wait, did you destroy it already? I destroyed the castle, but we still need to take out this market. Send right. in the fleet! Don't need the Charge. fleet, I got this. They need... Some... Alec, remember to upgrade your <laughs> animal ships so it can carry more. Ah, we got this. Alright, sending in John. Sending him in. Oh, bro. oh no. <laughs> I'm so confident we're gonna win, I'm sending him in. Oh god! You better protect Someone... him, bro! <laughs> oh wait, all my men are dying. If things look dicey, then uh... Get out of there. Where is he? Oh god, he's, he's not looking that well. What I'm gonna do... Where's my trebuchet? There it is. I'm gonna so send my trebuchet down so it can bombard Shit. them from that island. Quick, get the transport! John! Get John out of there! <laughs> Fire! Fire a broadside! He's on the ship! <laughs> wow, what was his health? An enemy now. I recommend we don't land there until we <laughs> clear this landing site. His current HP. Alec, if you up you if you upgrade he had your 30, galley. He had 30 HP, bro. That was a close save. Put him in a castle. Let's fuck him out of sight for a while. Garrison himself? Ah, okay, he's in the castle now, he's safe. Sir Robin. Oil. Sir Robin? <laughs> Daniel is quite he a big multi python fan. Well, he was quite brave. He went in there and nearly got himself killed. That was pretty brave. There's daring and calculation on the one hand, and 
foolishness and foolhardiness on the other. Oh yes, I lost my chance before. I need another one. Brave, brave Sir Robin rode out of Camelot. Right. So my plan, Sir Alec, is I'm gonna send my trebuchet down to the to your island, so I can uh, bombard my their island. building with my trebuchet, because I think it should be in range. You can bombard my building with your trebuchet anytime. Take that as you will. <laughs> Just think, where's the gold? There it is. Whoa. I have my own song. You do, Robin. You do. Do, 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 do. I'm trying to get gold so I can actually build something. I seem to have an abundance of every resource except for gold. And every single unit I can build needs gold. Wait, Robin, you haven't seen Brave Sir Robin from Monty Python, the Holy Grail? <laughs> well, I know what your homework is. <laughs> Brave Sir Robin. Bruh, YouTube Sir Robin right now. What in yes. Alabama is happening? No! I mean, in the scenario, we're trying to destroy this market so that we can ruin this, this Giannese Empire's main source of income, I'm assuming, is what's happening. We're teaching them a lesson they'll never forget. You say that, we attacked them and they nearly killed my leader. We need more ships, hold on. Get the, get the ship rights to work. Not working. I'm pressing the button, it's not working. Do you not have enough gold? Hey, Callie. I have zero gold. Can you send me some gold? Do you, you need. Do you not have anyone gathering gold? Don't use that tone of voice for me, young man. Send me some gold. <laughs> I have 176. <laughs> it's not that much. Why, why have you got no gold? Because I'm using it building ships. Damn it. Anyway, my uh, trebuchets arrived, so I can now bombard them. Who's the person in, you, in here with chat in the chat with me? That is my youngest brother Dan, who is also. Um, who I also it? have a YouTube channel called Eastern Roman History, which goes into detail about uh, the history of. The events we are playing out right now, so... Shockingly, Eastern Rome, aka the Byzantinians. So come closer. Alec, I have an idea. Yeah. Uh, well, one, we need sh some ships down here, pronto. But, uh... I'm being attacked. Again. Wait, Garrison! Garrison! There we go. Oof. I've got more ships on the way. You must ally with the French. Hmm. Ally with the French? Daniel does not support this idea. I don't think that would work. <laughs> Where's Shah? I wonder what she'd have to say about this. Where's, um... Navy SEAL force. Oh, my, oh my buildings that would so make things out. a lot easier. Yeah. <laughs> it would, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we, Alec, we got him. Yeah. I have an idea. Yeah. I mean, uh, yes. If you make you trade carts, you can trade with my market in Constantinople. That'll get me more gold. Trade Oh, something's happening. You gonna read that? Let us attack the Bulgarians now that Genoa has been humbled. Taking the Sembria should be compensation enough for attacking us earlier. Destroy the castle in the Sembria. In where? Okay. Uh, here. We have to destroy another castle. Attack the Bulgarians. Yep. We've humbled Genoa. Okay. Yep. Yes, that's, yeah, that's what we, I did. Uh, should a little uh, income from them. There's uh, a bunch of Scallywags. They're rebuilding it, bro. Yeah. 
It's a good opportunity for us to sort ourselves out. Okay, why don't you mark on the map where a good meeting point would be? Uh, here. Here? Okay. Where the burning outpost is? Yep. Alright, I'll meet you by the burning outpost in two decades. Aye aye, Commander. <laughs> we need transport ships. I do have lots of food now, this Ah, plus five transport capacity, nice. Yes. I recommend getting that and um, the wall galleys upgrade. Ah, uh, so. the wall galleys. Alright, we'll have two transport ships this time. That way, nothing can go wrong. Oh, I have some gold so now. That's good. Yes. What if it stops burning by the time we get there? Then we'll have no way of meeting up. Yeah, see, I don't know where it, I don't know where it's gone. I raised it to the ground. Well, without the outpost, Daniel, we're not gonna be able to complete the scenario, are we? Alex, your trebuchet is down here. Where? Wait, it's still alive? Yeah. <sighs> In fact, you've got some idle villagers as well. Yes. You yes, are. I do. Let's get them getting gold. Oh, I see why it's taking so long, eh? You don't... Alec, you um, build a mining camp next to that gold mine. That way you won't need the train of villagers gathering gold. <laughs> I love the parts where Dan tells Alec he is slacking. <laughs> Slacker? <laughs> Okay. No, Alex Genoa doing, right. paid 50 gold in tribute? Wait, yeah, why is Genoa, the hard. people who are just attacking me, giving me more gold this game than you, bro? Because we've humbled them. Let's see. So uh -huh. how, how do I humble you? Uh, you don't, because I'm, I am your lord and master. That one. Where, uh... I'm so the lost. Omar. It is a big map, so I um ah, okay. yeah. I have two transports now, bro. So double the fun this time around. They may be needed in the future, so who knows? My army, bro. It's happening. Let's get some cataphracts. <laughs> Indeed. I fought Dan's and. Andromeda character was your John's sidekick. Oh, Andronikos! No, he is the Emperor. Andronikos mm. is um, the Emperor of uh, the Byzantine Empire at this point, and John, John is his closest friend slash um, what would amount to his Prime Minister as well. John's okay. the second most important man in the Empire, basically. Let's get a couple of fishing ships, so I can direct a couple of villagers to gathering other resources. Now that's using the old noggin. Alright, I've got two full transport vessels. I think. You're all... No, not quite. Let's get more. You've also got some dudes down here, Alec. Where? Attack an enemy now. Oh, they never went in the ship, for God's sakes. Okay. <laughs> well, you just need to send them up to north. So. And the trade cog. Matrade cog. I feel like at Cap this point this stream has two guest stars. Yes. Why did Bon Jovi get his ass kicked earlier then? Um. No John, comment. John Bon Jovi, I like it. Well. He's still a human being. So. <laughs> He's still a human being. Wow. Yeah, Fiola, have some humanity. Jesus. He yeah. ain't Superman. <laughs> right. Uh, I'll just leave them for now. Alright, I've got an army. Where do you want them? 
Uh, if you send them up here, that'll be fine. Oh, good lord! It's a scorpion! Kill it! Try and find the wreckage of the burning outpost. Oh, it's long since gone, I'm afraid. What's up here? Ooh, enemies. These Bulgarians are tricky lot. Okay, I think my army is now on the shore. I don't think I need the trade the uh, transport ships anymore. So let's go. You can always rebuild them if you do. Now, yeah, mate, this will do. This will do. Where's? <laughs> I need a transport ship again. Get that trebuchet from earlier. Trebuchet. Yep. It will definitely be needed because we're sieging. Are you bringing one as well, bro? Yes, I've got my ones already in the assault. I like how stuff is happening, and I, I can hear it happening, but I'm not really seeing it. I'm just trying to get a trebuchet onto a transport ship. This is, this is why you always win when we play this game, bro. <laughs> well, not always. Not always. You beat two of us on your own. This is true, but uh No comment. Anyway. <laughs> Alright. I have an army. Huzzah! Gosh. Where's your army? Are they all dead? No, it's here. Oh nice. Ooh. Oh, I see we don't share vision. Uh, that's disabled for this particular game, but we'll get it later. Let's see. Ooh, right, I'm gonna... Go. Let's go! Charge! Onwards! To glory! A catapult. Oh, wait, is John in there? Where's John? Maybe I should keep him back. <laughs> I would, because uh, if he dies, then Bro, it's game over. Army is just standing there. Is this your strategy? Oh, no. Just let me die. And... No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He says that, that now. Not bad. Look, there's some, there's some uh, pikemen just standing there as well. Yeah. They're, uh, they are being attacked. That's so. what happened at the start. That's why I had no men left. I just sort of stood there and let my men die. Easy bastard. This is not planned. Anyway. Destroy that castle! Trebuchet. Believe it. Wait, what? Trebuchet go. Uh. Oh. Oh, there it is! Hey, it's there! Nice. Okay, we're good. Can't possibly fail now. <laughs> the chances of failure are very slim. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> hey! With Mesembria captured, let us return to the entrance of Constantinople, lined with torches and regroup. Okay. Hey! A new conquest for the Empire. Alright. Sembria captured, let us turn to the entrance. Okay. Uh, where is that? Uh, so it's lined by torches, right? Yep, it's Fine. down here. I'm sure we'll find it. Hold on, we need to bring the noble trebuchet as well. Yes. And the trading cog. All of them are coming. They're invaluable, because we can't get any more. Oh. Traitors! The Bulgarians have retaken Mesembria. The vile dogs! Let us burn their capital to the ground. The Ottomans have also started raiding again. Muster an army, a march to Rasa Castro. 
Hey! Yeah. There's a fire ship just melting your town center down there, bro. There is? Yep. Oh, no, that's like... your that's your town center. Is it? It's uh it's weird because it's it's, it's changed my color, but it falls. I'm gonna send some oh, fire ship. Yes. Bastards. I don't know why that is happening. But... It is. Oh. Hold on, where's yes. Where's the gang? Here's the gang. Damn Ottomans! Oh no, you must save the town. Um, so I recommend, I recommend we build up to our force limit and make sure we're all fully upgraded. Oh, there's attack. some wind hussars up there. Ah, were there yes. winged hussars at this time? Ah. Uh, Yes, I think they're more the. <laughs> um, I think they're more the 50th century. They're definitely like 16th. And... They're actually the winged hussars are definitely around in the um. The age of gunpowder. So they would have had men on horses riding straight into. They've arrived. People with muskets. There is. And winning, which is the that's the more astonishing thing. Oh my goodness! So an Ottoman monk. <laughs> exactly. Convert my ship. An Ottoman monk converted your ship. Tried to. I got on the way, but oh no! <laughs> the faith is strong with him. The faith is strong. With this one. I'm gonna get that heresy upgrade because uh, last thing. There's no, there's nothing worse in this game than having your men turn to the enemy's colours. Nothing. Um, you can quote me on that one. Transfer into Wick form and destroy them. <laughs> then the winged hussars arrived. Well, these are Bulgarian hussars, so. Bulgarian hussars. Yeah. Would they have looked similar, armor-wise, or...? Probably a stupid question. Pardon? Guessing not. Would they have looked similar, armor-wise, or...? Uh, well, if you're gonna call them hussars, I assume they fulfilled a similar function. Those are... Oh, those are just Age of Empires, you know. Do upgrades, I... The Chinese can get them. Why is this boat still here? <laughs> Who knows? All right, I'll convert it. What, oh, what, good what lord! faith are we, bro? We're Christian, right? Um, are we Christian at this uh, point? We are Christian. We are Orthodox Christian. We're Orthodox. Yes. So, uh, we are not Catholics. That's probably it. Oh, I'm Jesus, all... I saw it work in Age of Mythology, yeah. I saw it work. That would have been a fun faction. I.e. you need to make army. Make a army and do upgrades. I need to do a lot of things and I'm struggling, apparently. I have an army. Let's go. I don't need Daniel, let's go. Uh, just because <laughs> I would wait. Hold on. Waiting is for the weak. Charge! Well, I just be in this, in this game that if you, they always move at the speed of the slowest unit. And there's a bloody villager there still. Get out of the way. Wash out for that night. Which night? Oh God. I'm Andronicos is still back at- Charge! I haven't got the mid here, Alec. I thought this would go well. Um... Hold on. Oh shit, the trebuchet is too far out. Let's move it, move it closer. They're not even fighting back! 
Uh, it will in a moment. Oh. I mean it will in a moment. I've killed half of them. It's great. Shit is rigged. No, they're just, they're petrified. They're frozen in fear. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Uh-oh, where's, where's my king? Oh right, he's just stood at the side for some reason. Just gonna, uh... <laughs> Into the fray! Skulk off. Why do they just suddenly come to life? That was uh, terrifying. Trigger. So they become active when my hero crosses the bridge. When your hero, I see. Yeah. <laughs> We've killed someone, apparently. Oh dear. Uh oh. Alec! What? Who died? I told you, you should have waited for me! Why? Who died? Uh, most of our army. Alright. John is alive, it's all good. Oh! Get this trebuchet out of there. Get more men in there! <laughs> I've got a few more. All right, so we if, need we need to try and we need to find their champion and kill him. If John dies, I'm not saying he will, but if what happens? Will it say defeated? I'm not saying I will risk him. I just I, I've got to know. I've got to know. Just. Take out that heavy scorpion. My man just evaporated. Yeah. Why is part uh, real history will forever be changed? <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> that would be scary. There he is. Kill him. Who? I will send Andronicus there himself in. That champion. Come on, Andronicus. Single combat! Yeah! Despite their valiance, the Byzantines were outmatched at Rosa Castro, and more Bulgarians come to reinforce. Retreat to Adrianople. The Bulgarians will not pursue. Where's that? So we need to go back to your town, Alec. This one? <laughs> yeah. Called Adrianople. Yes. Actually, if you click on your town centre, you'll realise the name is it. Reports say Genoa is attacking, is trying to retake Caius and Phocaia. Let's, let us destroy the Genoese. A total surrender will certainly make them think twice before attacking us again. Defeat Genoa. Alright, hey. Do you think we can defeat Genoa? Uh, the greens. No, the yellows? Oh, yellows again, yep. They're I trying think... to retake what we took. They've been giving me gold for the last half an hour. I mean, I feel bad about attacking them. Can I attack you instead yeah, for well... not giving me gold? No, they've been giving me stuff as well. You have to realise, Alec, is that they're traitors. Okay. <laughs> okay. They haven't betrayed me, it's all good. I feel morally conflicted, bro. I think I'm just going to leave you to it. Leave me to it. Oh. <laughs> Is that wise? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I have an I have an army still. Do you have an army? Yeah. I had to, I uh, rebuilt it after mine died at Rosa Castro. So in history, um, Andronicus and John both lose at. Uh, oh, I Tanon, on, which is the name of the battle we did over against the Ottomans, okay. the green player. And also he lost at Rasa Castro against the Bulgarians. So, I've attempted in this scenario to replicate that. Uh, the former is the more straight up, just kind of replica. And the latter is more action-packed, but... Uh, 
a, I hope, nice compromise. I'm sure it will be a very nice compromise, bro. A compromise that will keep all parties happy. So that resentment and division does not grow. Right, so we're going to need to take out those Genoese dudes. Attack! We need more ships. I have a fleet. So I'm Excellent. pretty much good to go. If you send it down here, we can... Uh, it's three times the size of the last fleet. On the shore. You have three ships. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How did you How know? How did you know? Are we, are we related or something? I like to say... Well, I think it's an educated guess. Dan does the love... Oh, uh, yeah, he loves all of... He actually likes Crusader Kings. I think that's his favourite historical type game. Uh, it's not my favourite, but I do enjoy it. What do you mean it's not your favourite? You play that constantly. Well, you can still play something constantly and it not be your favourite. Right. Alright. So what is your favourite you then? Oh goodness. Um, difficult to say, really. One of them. <laughs> Take down that rock! Oh, Europa, Universe, yeah. Talus, or it's some stupid cool. name. <laughs> oh my god, they're still destroying my shit. <laughs> Last time yeah. I looked here, there was a full town of thriving people. Yeah. Uh, there's yeah. two approaches to uh, this. Woo. You can either abandon it, which is what the Byzantines did, or you can um, try and defend it. The Byzantines abandoned oh, it. it. Yeah, well, the Ottomans conquered it. Not this time. In this version of history, a plucky monk converted their entire fleet. <laughs> One monk Perfect. and a bit of gusto <laughs> saved the world. Right, I'm gonna land my army here in my allies in the Adenids town. So, uh, why not? Because they have also been fighting the Genoese the whole game as well. So. Gosh. Wait, are you attacking the Gen Genoans right now? Uh, Genoese. Uh, I'm preparing to, yes. Are they Genoese and not Genoan? <sighs> it, uh, the adjective the adi is Genoese, but the, ref the plural noun is Genoese. Does that make sense? Grammar! Let's just it. say yes. For the sake of argument, yes! <laughs> yeah, look at that! Ha-ha! Who needs to Send waste time building a in. fleet when you can just convert them? Whoa! Religion makes he no may sense. Be Robin. He may be Robin, ha-ha. Well, let's see for how long I can stay awake. Well, I hope we're not boring you. Ah, of course you're not, bro. Couldn't be livelier. Right, where's the, uh... Where's the fleet? Oh, there it is. These bloody Ottomans keep sending bloody... Ottomans. <laughs> keep sending ships to attack the men on the shore. Tell us a history fact. <laughs> Tell us a history fact. Uh, yeah, go on, Encyclopedia. Get on with it. Right. Did you know that in AD three twelve, Constantine the Great, just before the Battle of Milvian Bridge, received a vision uh, of a sign uh, which had a angelic voice that said uh, with this sign or by this sign you will conquer and then the following day um, a Christian 
priest came up to Constantine the Great and told him that if he, um, this is the symbol of uh, Christ, and if you paint it on your shields, the shields of your soldiers, you will win the day. And so Constantine, being a fairly um, prudent person, uh, mm -hmm. did so, and he won, and absolutely slaughtered his opposition. And after that point, uh, he started is a kind of his the process of his conversion to Christianity, which eventually leads to the Roman Empire becoming Christian. How's that for the history fact of the day? Okay. That priest was rigged. Was the priest a general? No, he was a monk, I believe. Uh, did the ships go? I can't convert them if they're all gone. Ah, my fleet has arrived! Now I'll send these Italian scum to the bottom of the ocean. Uh, bro, I already attacked and lost everyone. Where were you? Oh. You didn't tell me! <laughs> Wait, didn't I? Um, I thought I told you I was charging in. That sounds oh. like something that I would do. I believe the, the words margin. charge were uttered. Yeah. yeah. Do they, I think they have... Ah, oh, I can see the bodies of your brave men. <laughs> I'm gonna retake Jerusalem. I will take. I will avenge you, Alec. Wait, is... fortunately we can kind of keep our dudes. Oh, good lord! It's a, it's a real mess down here. Right, where, I'm, where are I'm you gonna attacking from. My... Oh, I can't see you because it's in darkness. I'm attacking from here. You'll just have to narrate the Ooh. fight. So I'm attacking against the. Uh, a combination of the Genoese and the Turks, because uh, they're both fighting each other. Kill it! Oh shit, I just realized I didn't put my notice up on uh, Discord. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, people streaming right now. Yes. Oops. Oh, Jenna was on top. Can't have that. Right. Jenna we'll drive the. Jenna the and the Ottomans are doing a lot better than us, bro. Uh, well, we don't really have to worry about the Ottomans. We just need to make sure Genoa, Genoa is destroyed. Famous last words. We don't have the war, but yeah. <laughs> yes. Perhaps even more appropriate when you realise that the Ottomans end up conquering all of this. Yeah, you see? Spoiler, not just a pretty face. The... Ah. Alec, more than a pretty face? I'm sure that was most evident. Wait, did I have stream? Gotta go watch that. <laughs> Let's raid him. Nah, I've heard he's a bit full of himself. Where's the Aha, siege tower? Transport ships. Towers? Siege rams attack! Actually, hold on. Where's my trade cog? I'm gonna use my trade cog as a scout. Obviously... I'm gonna move my uh, trebuchet onto your island here, Alec. What? Uh, then we can start bombarding them from the island. Ugh. Stop building... Sh stop building docks, Genoa. You're not allowed. I don't tell them that. In all your testing, did you manage to actually fail with this scenario? Did I actually manage to fail this? All the time. Ah. I see. I'm sure we won't know, fail. Uh, usually, because either one of our heroes dies, but um, that's just a test set up right now. Yeah, I think we're gonna just not worry too much about the uh, first Cinderella guild battle, seeing as we're still building the guild and everything. Pardon, Alec. Uh, just ignore me. You're good. 
starting to drive them away from the shoreline. Alright, we're going to have to build a new trade cog. Right, I can't, I can't got... find the last one. Pop limit. I'm going to get my trebuchet to bring down their castle from the island. That's great, isn't it? Screen. Let's do the old seaborne landing. Cheers, everyone, by the way. Hope, hope everyone's having a fine evening. Or afternoon, if I you're in America. Mm? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so are we winning? Yes. All right, let's yes. yeah. gather some priests and send them out. It's slowly, the the uh, assault is slowly going in our favour. Join the guilty. Oh yeah, no one can actually participate anyway, so it doesn't matter. The um, world still bricks outside, but it's nice in the stream. Yes. Come on, get him! Come back! Oh, we didn't want that scout anyway. He sucks. Let's teach... Who are they? The Ottomans? Let's teach the Ottomans about Christ. <laughs> yes. Research is needed before I can convert buildings. Alright. Redemption. Converted units it's die. More awesome. I don't want that. Convert most enemy buildings. Oh, yeah. Need stronger faith. It's happening. Hey! Stop shooting my monks! They're just standing there. Hello! <laughs> Didn't hurt anyone. Wait, do you know still paying me a trip? Zero gold! Wow. Yep. They don't that, like that you. That is a flex right there when they still send the tribute, but there's no gold attached to it. <laughs> They're just mocking you now. It's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> no! Who does this guy think he is? My priests! Yeah, take this, you villagers. They just murdered all my priests. Alright, this. Millions the best people to kill. Alright, I'm getting annoyed now. They're attacking my. my idle troops. Like, they did nothing to anyone. I don't think the Genoese appreciate that they're idle. I've nearly driven them out of their base. Get on the boats. Alright, let's go. Now all we need is the Coupe de Grasse. I actually don't know where I've put John, so he could just randomly die, just to warn you. Uh, is he in the castle in the island? Possible. It's probably worth having a quick look, just to be sure. Uh, uh, I'm sure he's fine. That would be awkward if he suddenly died. <laughs> We're doing so well! Our nukes. Next time on that, Dragon Ball Z. That, that reminds me of, um... What was that game called? Rise of Nations. Rise oh, of Nations was, was good, because you could have people from the Stone Age fighting people with firearms. Machine guns, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you even got nuclear weapons in that one, so... You could quite literally have, uh, Hopolites versing... <laughs> Charge! All right, my army's in there now. Hey, where's your army, bro? You just got a it's lot of exactly. It's on its way. How have I managed to attack them twice in the time it's taken you to, well, I don't know, do anything? Well, I've been doing quite a lot. Yeah, yeah that's what he says. He <laughs> says. See, no evidence of this. Evidence before accusation. Sounds of Age of Empires, I love it. I do like the Age of Empires soundtrack, it's great. Yeah, although, I kind of 
I missed the uh, the I O I O. I missed, missed the I O I O. The old monk sound effects. So great. I O. Oh, like that one. Oh. What age are you in? Yeah. Okay. We did it. I got an achievement. You got, you defeated the Genoese, no doubt. Yeah, take that, Genoa. Did the Ottomans kill Genoa? Is that what happened? Because I didn't do anything. Uh, no. Well, the, well we both did. All right. my, my trebuchet and ships cleared out all of their buildings in the harbour and destroyed their town centre. And then after that, it was just downhill from there. All right, bro. So now I'm going to use the loo quickly. You can explain to everyone exactly what's happening in history right now. Phew. Right. Sure. Go for it. Let's just have a... Ooh. So, let's have a quick run through the scores. So, uh, military, I got 6,000. I hope all of this means something to someone. Uh, economy, I got 6,700. Technology, 2,000. Society, 260. Total score of 15,966. Uh, 15, and Alec got 2,898 2, score. Give us history. All right. Righty ho. So, uh, the history. So, the beginning of that scenario takes place in 1328 and covers roughly the years until 1335 or thereabouts. Because we actually did about seven years. So, what happened there is that Alec and I um, are the characters we're playing as Andronicus III um, and John Cantacuzanos have actually just finished a civil war. Uh, this civil war was between Andronicus's grandfather, uh, a guy called Andronicus II. Um, no points for creativity on that point. Uh, so... Why was there a civil war? There was a civil war because uh, it all started because Andronicus III um, was a bit of a um, a bit cavalier in his youth, and he his uh, his affections were caught by a lady, and he was quite miffed to find out that this lady was seeing another man who he didn't he didn't know quite who but he vowed that he would sort this man out and so he john and a few other of his friends uh hid in this uh, nearby this woman's house and they swore that they would kill the man the first man that would leave her house and they did so and uh, after they had um, stabbed this guy to death, they then found out that uh, Andronicus had just murdered his brother, a guy called Manuel, uh, which didn't go quite so well. Uh, well, after that, um, Andronicus's father, a guy called Michael, died. Um, he he. Um, was a broken man uh, because his eldest son had just murdered his second eldest son. And um, he, uh, and uh, so Michael the Ninth, as he is called, uh, died, who was Andronicus's father, and Andronicus and uh, the Emperor, uh, the second was a bit miffed with his grandson, Andronicus III, and so they decided to fight it out. And so from 1322 to 1328, uh, Andronicus and Andronicus had been in a civil war uh, with uh, basically Andronicus trying to take the throne from his grandfather, which he did with John Cantacuzanos' help. And thus we begin the scenario. Hey, so at the I'm beginning back. of that scenario... Sorry, carry on. <laughs> uh, well, uh, the beginning of that scenario, so Andronicus II was 
uh, rather long-lived emperor in that he reigned for about 40 years, but was also a bit of a crap emperor uh, in that he wasn't that good at, good at his job. So uh, his the job military was, was growing, uh, corruption was growing, and also um, things just generally weren't going so well. And so uh, part of Andronicus's uh, um, new policy was to try and clear up all of the things that were going wrong. So Andronicus tries to save uh, the Empire's possessions in Asia, in uh, modern-day Turkey, uh, from the Ottomans. But uh, things are kind of too late, and at the Battle of Pelicanon, uh, things are quite decisively decided uh, because Andronicus is beaten. Uh, the capital of the province is uh, falls, Nicaea, which happened in game. And uh, Andronicus decides not to get involved in Asia again. Uh, then he builds a new fleet, which a bit like how we did. This was rigged. Hey, no, bro, it... can I quit the scenario, by the way? Uh, yes. I've got the other one. I'm just getting the other one set up. Very nice. Yes.